Hi everyone, it's Phil again. Uh, I had a request on one of my recent videos about the FTX. Um, I think it was the one where I showed the new part that I've got. There it is, it's fitted. It's all back in one piece, as it should be. And I had a request from a user, Barry Wotton. Um, he wanted to know what it looked like with a set of Mojave wheels and I do apologise however long it's been since that request Barry but I have been working um, I don't get much time off work so I'm working at the moment and in case anybody wants to know that is the time at the moment and that is AM so it's almost quarter past one in the morning I do work nights so I've actually taken the wheels off there's a Mojave over there with no wheels on it I've taken all the four wheels off the Mojave I've fitted them on here and they do fit a lot better than uh, than I thought they would so that is the look with the Mojave they are the EXB wheels which obviously I think they call them gunmetal there's a gunmetal grey finish to them on the blue car with the blue wheel nuts so whether or not that's a colour that you think suits it I don't know but obviously you know what a DR8 looks like with its own wheels that's one of its own wheels that's not too bad at all it's not probably not a great amount of difference these these are slightly taller these are worn down a little bit but there's not enough tread missing from this one to make up for the height of this one it's uh, not that much so yeah there's your difference they do fit they do they do suit it kind of i mean as a width comparison these are slightly wider these are probably Slightly taller, slightly narrower. Um, the other thing, I think the wheel nut is recessed further into these, so these may stand out a little bit further. I haven't actually turned it on or tried it, but there's no absolutely no problem with clearance. No problem with clearance either side on full lock. So you can fit a set, there's no problem. And there'll be no problem with clearance on the back, but they say they do seem to be pulled slightly further into the body. I would say that again, it's not going to be much, but I think these probably stand just a little bit further out. That wheel nut is more out towards the surface of the wheel, that one's more recessed. There's not that much more of a difference. So, there you go. Hope that answers your question. I still haven't touched the um, Mojave, apart from taking the wheels off it. So the Hobby Wing Easy Run is still in the box. Nothing's been happening with the cars. I haven't had any out and I haven't worked on any, apart from to put this one back together. So I'm pleased with that. Oh, I have done some updates. Can I show them quickly? I've got three Armour 6S models. I've got a Typhon 6S, which is in there, just for now, short of space. I've got a Creighton 6S. Now this is the only other change I've made, the only other update I've done to anything, is at the same time I ordered the Mojave and the Hobby Wing system, I bought RPM front bumper and an RPM rear skid plate for the Creighton 6S that's the most recent of my 6S editions apart from the Mojave I've also got the Outcast 6S has also got an RPM front bumper and an RPM rear skid plate and there is one on the Typhon which is in there which you can see the front bumper there I'm not going to take it out but trust me there's a skid plate on there so three RPM front bumpers three RPM rear skid plates fitted on the three 